Hey y'all, this is John Deere 330. Um, today I'll be showing y'all my uh, uh, lures and uh, fishing tackle and rods and reels. Some new stuff I bought. Um, so, uh, let's keep going here. Well first, I'm going to start with uh, a few new things I bought. Um, I bought this uh, pack of Zoom uh, U-Tail Watermelon Seed. I bought it yesterday at Walmart. And, uh, um, this looked pretty good to me, so I went and bought it. Um, I got this, uh, back in January, and, uh, a fella gave it to me for, um, of course, kitchen bass. And, uh, I've, let's see, I think I caught three bass with this. The best any of this has done for me. Culprit junk. Don't ever buy a culprit. They're terrible. Have to call it and squat on that. Yum. This right here is more for salt water, but I use it for fresh water too. I think I got a buy or two on that, but never caught anything with it. Well, we went to Bass Pro Shop the other week. Bought me a few new things. Because uh, I went fishing the other day and lost a few things. So I had to buy a few new things. Um we'll start off with this popper here it's an XPS, a laser eye lure from Bass Pro Shop um, I like fishing top water I have the best luck with that and uh, my other popper is getting rough condition I'll show you all that in a few minutes got this Johnson beetle spin I have another uh, few beetle spins in my tackle box they're a heck of a lot smaller than this I need something bigger uh, then we went fishing the other day at a campground and I lost one of my uh, spinners here, so I went and bought a new one. Um, it was a chartreuse color, so I went went and bought a chartreuse in white. Um, now we'll go over to my tackle box and see what's in there. Well, I'm going to start off on the first rack that on top there. Let's see here. We've got some little uh, beetle spins, like I was talking to you all about. I need something bigger, so I went and bought those uh, bigger ones. Got me a. Uh, it rattles. It's a rattling lure of some sort. It's from Rapala. Um, haven't caught nothing on it. This is uh, some sort of broken back rebel. Never caught nothing on that. Now, I have caught, I think, one or two uh, bass on that, striped bass. This is a. Uh, a broken back rebel from the company uh, rebel um, we got a hula popper it looked pretty cool so I bought it I had I think I've used it like once or twice uh, we got a fly here this is actually one that came with the um, tackle box um, so I've never used it usually I make my own flies but no, I never use that one Let's see here What's in there? Okay. Another beetle spin. A little tiny one. Second row. We'll start off on this side. Now this right here is what my uh, uh, spinner looked like I lost, but it was a chartreuse color. So uh, the one I bought now, let's see. It's about the same size. This right here is a little longer. The head's different, but that don't matter. It all works the same way. Um, now here, here's a few flies I made. I, I'm excellent in making these. I ain't sure what you call them, but I can make them. Um, I made that one here. These are actually saltwater flies, but you can use them in fresh water. Here's one of them things. I hate them things with a passion. Oh, I, I tied that... Uh, uh, that tail on it with my fly tie and stuff. I did a pretty good job on it. This, that's junk. Here's a spinner um, I got for uh, Easter. Uh, my mom uh, had me an Easter basket. It was John Deere colors, so she got me a yellowish um, lure there. Here's another a spinner. Third row. On here, the third row. Um, Got myself a um, 
shoot, I can't remember what I call that thing. It's a... Uh, bag dumb. I can't remember what I call it, but anyways, it goes through the water with that propeller hitting that, making noise. Makes a lot of a racket. Got me a, tra a trailer hook on it. I missed a few fish with that, so I put that on. I've caught me uh, two or three bass at uh, actually the Denton Tractor Show. Uh, they got a pond up there. Then there's some bobbers and stuff, weights. Here's a. Uh, ain't quite sure what that is. That came with the box. Uh, rooster tail. I ain't never caught nothing on them either. Got a few of those. Um, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, we'll go over to uh, fish poles now. Well, um, I'm going to show y'all two of my uh, fishing rods here. Uh, I got more, of course. You can't have too many fishing rods. But I'll just show y'all two of them for now. We're start off with this um, Shimano Full All 2. Um, it's pretty old. So I love this pole because it's so light and you can bend it like that. Uh, here is my um, popper I was talking about. Looks rough right there. That's what I was talking about. The paint's come off of it, so I might get me some spray paint and just spray it off, spray something on there. But uh, I've caught. Lord knows how many fish with that right there. That's a good, uh, good uh, lure right there. We'll go to the other, the next rod. My other rod here, it's a, uh, let's see here, it's a uh, Sedona. Y'all see that right there? A Sedona. There you go. Uh, four thousand FB by Shimano. Uh, this was my dad's but I pretty much use it mostly. I got me another one just like it. Um, it's in a little worse condition because we use it for salt water. Um, it's not really made for fresh water. But uh, here's another of my uh, I can't remember what in tarnation you call that thing. So. I've caught three bass with this. And I got me a trailer hook because I missed quite a few with it too. But uh, that's my fishing equipment here. Um, I guess I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Y'all rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, y'all check out my other videos. I'll be putting a bunch up. So uh, talk to y'all later. Bye.